After the preparation, let's continue part two, initial steps and PPV. Obstetrician was near mom. When the baby is born, we shall start the APGAR timer. Neonatologist and the nurse were with the mother when baby was born. Neonatologist didn't see any breathing effort, stopped the DCC and decided to go ahead to the resuscitation initial step. Before the baby arrive, make sure thermal regulation will be provided properly. There are special considerations regarding warming between term and preterm infants. For term baby, we usually provide warmth in a manual mode at radiant warmer with a power output percentage setting. In manual mode, safety regulations require an alarm after 12 minutes and a reduction in power after 15 minutes, so it is recommended to reconfirm or reset the power in the beginning of resuscitation. For preterm baby, use skin temperature mode to have servo-controlled radiant heat during resuscitation. Place the temperature sensor around the abdominal area for servo control and monitoring. For preterm babies, especially those below 32-week gestational age, drying is not necessary. Instead, we should wrap the baby in a polyethylene plastic bag. It is important to keep the newborn fully covered during resuscitation and stabilization. If the newborn requires insertion of an umbilical catheter, cut a small hole in the plastic rather than uncovering the newborn. Now, we will continue our scenario. Along with the neonatologist, the nurse brought the baby to the bed. Let's go ahead and start the initial steps. The team is assessing if baby is apneic. Hold us on. We are approaching one minute of life. We will be driving and still missing the infants. I don't see any respiratory efforts, and I don't feel any rise and falls of the chest. Heart rate is less than 100. So the baby is not responding to our initial steps, and the baby has the apnea and also the heart rate is lower than 100 per minute. We need to go pursue with positive pressure ventilation. Does everybody agree? Agree. agree. Starting PPV. Here, we provide the initial setting for PPV, including flow rate, TP's pressure, oxygen concentration, and target SpO2 according to NRP guideline. We start PPV, post us is already on, I will put the ECG on. According to the NRP 8th edition, the most important indicator of successful PPV is a rising heart rate. And after 15 seconds of PPV, you should do the first heart rate assessment. And the assessment should clarify if the heart rate is increasing or not increasing, and if the chest is moving or not moving with the ventilation. Worth mentioning, a significant change of the 7th edition NRP algorithm to 8th edition is the cardiac monitor application update. It is recommended to consider ECG monitor as soon as the heart rate is lower than 100 beats per minute in 8th edition. The importance of ECG monitor has been highlighted by the AHA resuscitation and emergency guideline. Compared with auscultation or pulse oximetry, the ECG monitor is the most rapid and accurate measurement of newborn's heart rate during resuscitation. The integration of ECG monitor displays heart rate quicker and more accurate and centralizing all the physio parameters into the warmer assists medical staff to stay focused and increase operation efficiency. The ECG is 81 beat per minute, heart rate is lower than 100 beat per minute. Let's continue PPV. If the heart rate is increasing, continue PPV for another 15 seconds and assess the heart rate. You do not need to do ventilation corrective steps to attain chest movement. If the heart rate is not increasing but the chest is moving, continue PPV and assess the heart rate after another 15 seconds of PPV that moves the chest. If the heart rate is not increasing and the chest is not moving, begin Mr. Sopo corrective steps immediately. The heart rate is still not increasing. I'm not seeing any test arrest. Uh, I think we need to take corrective measures using Mr. Sopa. Agree. Agree. 
After 15 seconds of effective PPV, if the heart rate is not increasing and the chest is not moving, begin Mr. Sopa steps immediately. Mr. Sopo is a mnemonic to remember the six ventilation correction steps to take when you determine that you are not providing effective ventilation. After each corrective step, give five breaths of PPV to assess if ventilation has been corrected. M is for mask adjustment. Reapply the mask to the face to form a better seal. Lift the jaw upward, use more pressure on the edge of the mask, and consider a two-hand hold if you have difficulty achieving a tight seal. R is for reposition the head and neck. Place head neutral or slightly extended. S and O are for suction mouth and nose and open the mouth. Use a suction catheter to suction the mouth and nose. Use a finger to gently open the mouth. P is for pressure increase. Increase PIP cautiously. For the term baby, the maximum pressure is 40 cm water pressure, while for the preterm, the maximum pressure is 30 cm water pressure. A is alternative airway. Insert a laryngeal mask or endotracheal tube, then try PPV again and reassess chest movement and breath sounds. Okay, let's check the mask and reposition the head, please. I have a right size mask, but I will adjust and make sure I have a good seal and put the baby in a sleeping policy. Okay, let's give that five breaths to see if it works. I'm not seeing any chest rise or color change, and our heart rate is still not increasing. So let's go ahead and suction the mouth and nose, and make sure the mouth stays open, please. Uh, those are some thick secretions. I will sure that the mouth stay open and continue ventilation. All right. The chest is not moving, no color change, and the heart rate is still not increasing. Let's go ahead and increase our pressures. Increasing the pressure. Okay, let's give five breaths. I'm starting to see some chest rise now. Okay, we were established ventilation, so let's continue PPV that's moving the chest for at least 30 seconds before we reassess our heart rate. The heart rate is increasing to 105. In this case, the baby had a successful PPV and a heart rate is over 100 beats per minute. According to NRP, the baby will be sent to post-resuscitation care.